everybody. This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So recently I have been working on redoing my personal portfolio and hoping hoping to get that launched very soon, but we'll we'll see about that. Anyhow, while I was working on it, I wanted something to happen when I resize the browser window. So for instance, once you get this smaller like a phone screen, I wanted something to happen like a fixed navigation bar at the top. And then stretching it out, I wanted something to happen to fill up these gray spaces on the side. And you might have run into this issue with your own website. Well, I got ambitious one day, and I decided to figure out what I could do in order to uh, get this working. And I found some jQuery workarounds, and uh, it, it's, it's a lot of mess. The easiest I found is with media queries. And the one problem with this is that it's not browser browser friendly let's say the modern browsers are gonna have no problem with it but it's the older stuff uh, Internet Explorer and all that stuff that might have some issues so you'll have to play around with it and you know what I really don't care about these older browsers to be honest especially with my own portfolio so let's get started now media queries are going to be strictly with your CSS from my understanding so if you have something in your header um, you can just do style and do it here or the way that I would like to do it is within my external CSS file just keeps things neater so to do this it's very very simple all you need to do is do an at sign and type media and then screen and and this is where you give it, give it your parameters so what I'm going to write is uh, when you get to the max width of your browser of 600 pixels, so when your browser is 600 pixels wide, do this. So it's 600 pixels and below. It will do the following. So that is uh, what I'm going to do is have it unhide a fixed navigation bar and then hide this navigation bar. So to do that, just going to do some simple CSS, which is going to be uh, nav fixed navigation visibility visible so what it's going to do is make this fixed navigation this ID from visible visibility of hidden to visible and then we're going to do one more which is going to be header nav and we're going to make this one visibility hidden so let me save that refresh this as you can see nothing happened yet but when I bring this down to 600 pixels BAM it pops up right there so easy bring it out gone in there you go very very cool so we can do some other things with this so let's try um, uh, let's see maybe we'll change this tile right here to a different color so when, once it gets to 600 pixels we can also say that all uh, all of our h1 tags will change to let's see what color is that this color so we'll say color of this red and then we can also even say body background will become 666 and font color will be a light gray save that refresh it nothing happens bring it down and BAM background becomes dark body text becomes light gray very very simple I love this so let me just show you a sneak peek of what I was talking about so if I go over to my uh, the testing of my portfolio alright so here I have a fixed navigation bar at the top and this logo on the bottom. Open it up wider, logo stays here, but this navigation comes in. So bring it in, the top one comes up, bring it in more, and that logo disappears. And then right now it's not fixed at the top. Bring it in even more, it becomes fixed at the top, or we gotta go to a longer page. and it's fixed at the top once again bring it out not fixed 
out even more and the logo comes in out more navigation comes in very very awesome so that's all there is to it hopefully this gets your brain moving and you can make some pretty sweet websites thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe leave a comment um, buy me dinner thanks for watching and see you next time